welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a bit of a sit down haul type video for you today. Lots of new in homeware bits from HomeSense for Christmas. I've been shopping. I have actually got some other bits as well, which I'll show you from a brand called Yus, which I've talked about before. It's J-Y-S-K. And they've got some amazing bits in and also a couple of hobby craft bits as well. So make sure you are set and comfy and relaxed. Your feet are up, your candles are lit. I've just lit mine as well. And let's jump straight into the video. Before I share with you the new homeware finds, I am very excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Farfetch. I've got some new in bits and a discount code for you guys as well, which especially on these items that I'm about to show you, it's amazing you can get a discount off them. So make sure to take advantage of it. I will leave a link to all of these products and the information on the discount code on screen and in the description box below. And let me show you some of the new finds that I've picked up. So if you don't know what um, Farfetch is, it's essentially an online website that just has loads of brands on there from like smaller emerging brands right up to the big heritage labels that we all know and love. Speaking of which, I got myself another pair of ultra minis. Now these have been so hard to, to get hold of. So I've managed to find a pair. That's a good thing about Farfetch as well. They quite often have things that are hard to find. So I've got the antelope shade, which I wear all the time. And I decided to pick up the black as well because I just think the antelope shade, I was gonna go for the chestnut color, like classic Ugg chestnut color, but the outfits that I would wear the chestnut ones with, I would also wear the antelope color with. So I thought, you know what, I'll switch it up and go for something completely different and go for black. I do size up to a seven and I'm usually a six to a six and a half. So I would recommend sizing up in Ugg, but yeah. How gorge. Not only are Farfetch great for hard to find items like those, they also have a whole beauty section. So you can stock up on some of your beauty faves. Again, you can get a discount off them with my code, which is amazing. So I've picked up a couple of essentials. This one was a repurchase that I needed to stock up on and it is the Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil. I am not running out, but like verging on running out of my flawless filter. I do have another one in a darker shade, but quite often I will wear the lighter one. So I wear shade 2.5, is it? 2.5 fair. Um, and this is, I actually even mentioned this in my gift guide video because I love it so much. I couldn't recommend this product enough. I tend to use this as a base before putting on my makeup, but you can use it just on high points to highlight. It's got a really nice kind of sheen finish to it. It's a very light coverage, so you can just wear it on its own for a bit of a healthy glow. Maybe you're on holiday, you wanna go makeup free and just pop that on. So yeah, I have to mention that Farfetch do beauty. So that is a fairly like newer introduction. They used to be more sort of just fashion, but now they do home as well. Another essential of mine that I have stocked up on and that you guys know I love because I talk about them all the time, my Lulu Lemon Align Leggings. So these are the Align Leggings in the 25 inch. Now these are my absolute hero go-to favorite leggings of all time. The black on Lululemon is very, very rarely, in fact, never. I've never seen it in the sale on Lululemon. I've never seen it in the outlets. However, of course, on Farfetch, you can use my discount code to be able to get money off them. So that is a tip that I would recommend if you're wanting to try the Lululemon leggings, make sure to check them out with my code. And then I went a bit overboard on <laughs> hoodies and sweatshirts from, in fact, all from Aneen Bing. Again, another love of mine is with my leggings. These are just like, this is my everyday outfit. It's like my uniform um, to wear my Lululemon Align leggings and a sweatshirt or a hoodie and the Aneen Bing ones I have are my absolute favorite. Firstly, this hat in the color green with the NYC. I have also got the matching hoodie to this. I kind of got this because we've talked about potentially going to New York in the new year. So I thought it'd be fun to be a bit touristy and wear NYC. I just love the color of this. So I decided to pick it up in the hoodie as well. I did get some different sizes with these hoodies because for different fits, like sometimes I just wanna wear a hoodie with like tucked into jeans, so I don't necessarily want it long and oversized. The long and oversized ones I prefer to wear with leggings so that my bum was covered. So yes, I did get this one in a large though, so I can wear this one with leggings. And I do have some Lululemon leggings in this color as well, so that'd be a nice 
uniform to wear one day working from home. Okay, and then the next one I got is in a size small. So this is, and to be honest with you, there's not much in the sizing, I will say that. This is the next one that I got. They class this as a green, but it's like a washed gray green. And then this one, I think I got this one in a larger size. Yeah, this one's in an extra large. So this one's a pop of color for me with the Anina Bing. It's kind of in like a Borg um, material. Can you see there? And it's in this bright cobalt blue, which I love. I used to love wearing this color. I wonder if I could get some leggings in this color. I think I prefer this one. Well, so much so that I got a second one because if you saw, I actually ruined my other one. I got um, stains on the um, arm from going to the Indian and leaning my elbows on the table. That will teach me. I have tried to wash them out and they are pretty much gone, but you can still see them. So I'll keep that one for like just dog walks and chilling around the house. And then this one I did go for in a large, whereas my other one's an extra large. So this one I could wear like layered up under blazers, wear it more for nice and not stain it. And then I also got this one for a bit of fun, kind of like print. They quite often do these um, Anina Bing hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts with like quite a bold print. And I got this black panther one, which I love. And it's just got on the back like well torn. How nice is that color, by the way? That green. It's like a teal green. Anyway, and then I also got this, last but not least, from Anina Bing anyway, this um, sweatshirt, which I already have the t-shirt of this um, pattern. So I thought I'd get the sweatshirt as well because I do love wearing that t-shirt. Um, this one I did go for in a size extra large. So there we go. I did get one more item from Farfetch. I'm undecided on this. So you'll have to let me know your thoughts. But I wanted to get, um, I've kind of been like looking out for new boots to add to my wardrobe. Because I've only really got like one decent pair of boots other than like my Ugg boots and my walking boots. I got um, these as a bit of a switch up. They're from a brand called Ash. And I'm loving greens and khakis at the minute. And these are like a suede, um, I want to say like a moss green. How nice is the colour? I love it. It's like a brownie green, muddy green. That I just think is good for autumn and winter. I think it'd be nice for me to have a dressier boot rather than a boot that I end up wearing on dog walks and then ruining. So this one would be very much a boot of that I would style up, maybe go shopping, go into Manchester rather than taking the dog out. <laughs> I am scared to death that I'm going to ruin that suede though. I've got some protector, so I think I'll have to pop that on before before I wear those. So that is everything that I have recently picked up from Farfetch. Again, just a reminder to use my discount code. I will leave it in the description box below along with the links to any of those items if you want to check them out yourself. The discount doesn't last forever though, so you make sure to be quick on that. In terms of homeware goodies, I feel like I should start with home scents because I feel like that's the favorite. It's probably what everyone's come here for. Okay, the first bag, I actually bought this one on checkout. How could I not? It is so perfect for autumn. I know autumn's kind of gone and passed now, but I was looking out for this bag for the longest time. I eventually saw it and I thought, even though it's a bit out of season now, I'm still getting it anyway. I suppose it is still autumn. I just see November as Christmas months. November and December for me are Christmas months. So I got some gift wrap. How beautiful is this? This was, how much was this? $2.99. It's so nice. I just love any kind of Christmassy scene. And this one just has deers and stags and like fir trees. I also got this gift bag at $1.99. Comes with three sheets of tissue paper as well. I got this for Barney. This can go in his stocking this year. It's a little eggnog squeaky toy and this was $4.99. Some festive baking, I saw these, they had loads of different designs but I thought this one was really, really nice at $3.99 and you can make little, they're basically little baking cups. You can bake cupcakes, small pies, mini cheesecakes, mini quiches, muffins, you can do sweet or savory in these and you could even um, do them to gift out. Look at the image that they've got in the back. I just think it makes them look really nice. I saw this coffee syrup selection. Now we all know that TK Maxx has, well, I say TK Maxx, Home Sense as well, has the best selection of syrups. However, they're all usually the skinny syrups and I personally don't really like the skinny ones that much. The ones that are zero sugar. I, I, I will drink them, but they're not my favorite. I would rather just either have 
normal coffee or coffee with sugar syrup so anyway i saw these ones they are sugar syrup so i decided to pick them up it is a little set of four different flavors we've got we've got gingerbread peppermint eggnog and irish cream so yum 4.99 for that i've been trying to have more relaxing baths as well in evenings and i saw these um bath salts which are in a festive I was going to say flavour then. Definitely not flavour. At $5.99, the magic of Christmas. This is scented with um, cinnamon and caramelised pear. And then I got these purely because they intrigued me, to be honest with you. $1.99. They are just a bag of crisps, but flavoured fried egg. So I was suckered in purely on the fact that I just wanted to see how they tasted. <laughs> anyway, my first of the candles from this haul and oh my god this smells insane oh, how gorgeous is this actual design this pot i just think it's beautiful as soon as i saw this i was like yep that's coming home with me it's a bit of the more premium one at 16.99 because you know sometimes their candles start from like sort of seven or eight pounds but this this is a two wick one and it's scented pine needles, sage and citrus. Potentially favorite candle of the year so far from Home Sense. Okay, so that's the first bag done. Second, oh gosh, it's heavy. <laughs> Second bag. Another thing to add to my gift wrap collection and I've got this bottle box, I'm gonna say, cause they're actually in like cardboard box material, 3.99. They had again, loads of different designs of gift wrap. I honestly think Home Sense is one of the best places to go for gift wrap all year round, not just at Christmas. Um, and it just says a fa la 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 la. Another toy to add to Barney's a toy stocking selection this year is one of these burrow toys, which he has been loving. So this was $7.99. I got um, him a Christmas tree one and he kind of has destroyed the inside of it already. I think it's because they, they try and get these little toys out. Once he's got them out, he's trying to get more stuff out from the middle. But nevertheless, this keeps him entertained. This is one of the only toys that he actually plays with by himself. Any other toy, it's usually like a rope toy, a tug toy he wants me to play with him. So it's quite nice to have him kept entertained. I saw these and I honestly couldn't believe they were only $8.99 and they had loads of them as well. They're all unique as well. Each one was different, like hand carved Christmas trees in this dark wood or it's like an ashy kind of wood. I went for this one because it's got quite a bit of texture with these like knots. There's one there as well at the bottom, which I quite like. I prefer more textured. There were some that were a bit more perfectly finished and others that were really textured. So yeah, they say that they retail for 18 pounds. Don't know where they're from. Oh, quick interlude over. Have to go help the builders out with something. Oh, I found this reed diffuser. How nice does this sound? So they've got Plum and Ashby at uh, TK Maxx. They are the number two labels. If you know, you know. Um, RLP of £29 for their reed diffusers. This one's £16.99. Hold on, let me just get my breath back. Whew. It's in the scent. Can you read that? Fireside Embers. Hmm. The only thing is I couldn't open it see what it was going to look like this is the bottle so it's like um an amber glass i don't know if you can see actually on camera it's kind of showing up quite dark really random purchase needed a new waist belt and i got this one in the clearance for eight pounds you know it's actually been a couple of weeks since i bought these bits and i've just forgotten what i've got and this has just put a big smile on my face we've got some treats from harry and david these wafer rolls i love a wafer roll with a coffee i say a wafer roll at least three i've got these ones because they're kind of festive how nice is the packaging and the flavors as well we've got chocolate hazelnut and chocolate peppermint but these are the sort of kits that are really good for like being able to if you're buying for like quite a few friends to be able to buy the kit and then split them up between friends. 6 99 it was for this set of three. As much as I love the good old classic White Company Minimal Tree, I do, I'm drawn to the traditional colors, the dark, deep green and burgundy. So when I saw these matching little um, decorations, I decided to pick them up. 3 99 each with a retail price of £6.30, really randomly, from PTMD. When we buy for Tom's niece, we like to get them like a sack with quite a few prezies in. So these are only 5 99 and I feel like they're such a good value for money from Homesense. They have them all the time, like every single year. 
And yeah, these are the designs that I went for this year. And obviously they can then keep them and reuse them if they want to, but I think 5 99 I mean, to get a nice gift bag is sometimes two or three pounds. So just for the extra couple of quid, you've got a sack full rather than having to take several gift bags. I got some Christmas crockery and I got these matching, um, well, let me take them out of the tissue paper. I've got a loaf tin which I love baking like any kind of banana loaf. We can maybe do like a cinnamon and apple loaf. That'd be nice and festive. And this is $6.99, this one. It's just basically got beige colored snowflakes all around it. And then the matching, um, I don't know what you would call this one, but just like a ceramic dish for whatever, I guess, roasting, roasting dish. I got these Christmas napkins. How many did you get? 20 in a pack. So I thought these would be quite nice to take home for Christmas. They're gold foiled kind of um, designs, just nice and again, neutral, but really, really pretty. And then the last of the Home Sense finds, again, another candle is this one. This one is all black, it smells lovely. It's called By the Campfire. This would have been nice to have in autumn as well, actually. I might, might start burning this one first. It's 9 99 it's quite a big one, and it's got a really nice lid as well. But yeah, that's very smoky and like woody, which I love. I do have a couple of things from Dunnell. So they're both two pounds each. We've got this gorgeous velvet bow, which is classed as a tree decoration. But if you had a massive present to give to someone, it'd be quite nice to put that on the top of it as the bow. But it's got metal wiring as well. So I've just kind of shaped it to make it a bit fuller. That deep, rich burgundy is beautiful. And then this kind of like paper honeycomb with a little tassel. Horrible. This turned into a bit of a miscellaneous haul now because I do actually have a couple of other brands. Um, but I got these from Lidl, which I thought I would share with you. And you can thank me later. We've got some new festive flavors of the Ritter Sport chocolates. Um, I got crispy coffee. This one is caramelized almonds. And then this one, the winner for me, white cinnamon crisp. Sounds amazing. Okay, next up from Hobbycraft the beauty in this wreath i just think it's absolutely stunning it's again that rich deep burgundy kind of color which i thought would look lovely throughout autumn into winter as well so like next year i might pop this one on the door from the start of autumn i just think it's beautiful it's got like bigger bits in there smaller bits but it's all one color and it's on a wooden wreath as well this one was these are in the sale at the minute at hobbycraft for just 12 pounds i got some christmas cards from MS, which they have some lovely designs i really like this one it just says this is not just any card last but not least i went into yusk which i mentioned i initially went in for one item which was this that i'd seen on social media on there i think it was instagram it's their christmas sledge that they've got if you don't know what yusk is it's like a kind of scandinavian a bit like an ikea but just homewares that's much smaller um scale than ikea and yeah <gasps> how gorgeous is this whitewash wooden sledge that you could have as a bit of a decoration maybe under your tree. This was eight pounds or eight pound 50 actually. And then I also got this, this was I think 12 to 14 pounds and it's gorgeous. It's this marble tray, but I love the color of it. It's a really dark kind of stone beige marble as opposed to like a gray white one. So I just think this would look lovely in a bathroom or even um, on a vanity, even with a candle and a reed diffuser on it. I think trays really help look, make a space look less cluttered. Marble tray was 14 99 So this next one at six pounds, this gorgeous little cushion. It's in again, a kind of stone beige color in this star shape. Just nice to sit out in front of like other cushions, I think. Then I got this throw, this one was 15 pounds and it's 130 by 170. So I'm thinking this to have like on the sofa to get cozy with, it's got a stag on it. They had this in gray as well, but I went for the beige color, obviously. Oh, it's cute. It's kind of like a little half stag at the bottom of the throw. Oh, I love that. Oh, so cozy, it's so soft as well. They had these placemats, again, if you're a fan of that burgundy color, and even if you got the burgundy napkins from the white company last year, this would look really nice with that. It's just like a placemat that you can pop underneath your place settings that just says Merry Christmas, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's a gorgeous linen, like dark 
linen natural colour with that burgundy. This was on sale for £6, I think reduced from 8 and it's a little house lantern tea light holder. They've, they've got a bigger one as well, which I think was £8. And this is just going to add to my collection, my ever-growing collection of li little houses. Obviously, this one's a bit different though, because it's not like a classic white house. This one's actually got a speckled kind of detail to it. This reminds me more of the kind of crockery that you find at like Zara Home. I also picked up this table runner. It's maybe one that I'll take home for Christmas Day at my with my family, but... Um, it's a table run of 35 by 300 centimetres and again it's that kind of natural linen colour with little gold stars on it. So, so pretty and this was only £4. And the last and final item, this is actually the most expensive item I got from Yusk and it was £24.99. In fact, is it the most expensive item of the entire haul? Probably. Um, but it's this basket. I just love a seagrass basket and I feel like the size of this one is really good for um, like throws or something like beside the sofa to so just have your throws kind of sat in and just kind of like poking out the edge for you to grab to get cozy when watching TV in an evening. So there we have it. That is everything that I wanted to mention in today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and been inspired to head out to the shops yourself to maybe find some Christmas bits to pick up for this year. Thank you so much again to Farfetch for very kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to check them out via the links in my description box along with the discount code. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.